In Fresno, we have continuing coverage tonight on a tragic accident. A toddler, not quite two years old, is run over by an SUV. Tonight, she is in critical condition. Police say 33-year-old Eddie Alvarado ran her over. She is his stepniece and then did not report the incident to police. CBS 47's AJ Cotto has reaction tonight from neighbors and a legal analyst. She joins us live from the Fresno County Jail. So AJ, apparently he just didn't report the accident. Well, Ken, video shows Alvarado and saw what happened. Now she rushed the child to the hospital, but neither of them called the police. And that's what they say landed him here in jail. A 23 month old toddler was ran over by a and uh, is now uh, fighting for her life. A mother rushes her daughter to the hospital after police say this man, her 33 year old stepbrother Eddie Alvarado, accidentally ran over the girl in the driveway of this southwest Fresno home. The fact that at no time was the police notified that there was a hit and run collision is uh, mind boggling to me as a parent. Police say both lied, saying an unknown driver hit the child until they learned there was surveillance video. It takes forward. Oh my God. It's a little baby day. This woman lives down the street and did not want to show her face. People need to take better care of their kids, and there was no need for her to lie because it looked like it might have been just a, a bad mistake made. But the biggest mistake, according to both police and legal analyst David Mugridge, was not reporting it. So he knew that he was responsible for potentially killing his niece, and he still left the scene. And had he just simply called the police department and reported the collision, that would have been the end of this. He would not have been arrested. Mugridge says the biggest factor for Alvarado now is whether the child survives. But if the child dies, it makes it much more likely that he's going to get some kind of a prison commitment. And Alvarado is now facing felony hit and run charges. The mother is not facing any charges at this time, and that child is still in critical condition at Valley Children's Hospital. Reporting live in downtown Fresno, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. AJ, thank